Welcome to the Old Dogs REI Network, where cash flow is king. Real estate investing, the means, so you can enjoy your retirement dreams. This is the show where we cut right to the chase. No sales pitch, no long monologues, just simple how-to real estate investing advice, so you can earn the passive income you need to enjoy your retirement today. And now, your host and chief old dog, Bill Manasero. Old dogs, and welcome to Fun Facts Friday. This is our once a week, only on Friday show, where we have special episodes not featuring guests, where I will share tricks, tips, terminology, and techniques that will help skyrocket you to real estate investing success. Today's topic is setting your 2022 goals. But before we get started, hey, I'd like to touch base with you guys and find out how you're doing. What I want to do is just uh, first you know, let you know that I'm, you know, I'm here to provide you with information that'll help you to better invest, to uh, hopefully become financially independent, to be able to or uh, grow your income and your retirement, uh, to make wise decisions in, with the, the funds that you do have for retirement, and to be able to utilize real estate investing as a means to do that. So if there are some topics that you would like me to cover, or maybe a, a topic we covered already, but you'd like deeper, um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I think that that uh, would be fantastic if we could, uh, you know, provide more of what you're looking for out there. So if uh, you have some ideas or, or things that we should uh, cover, um, write to me, bill at olddogsreinetwork.com, and I'd be happy to uh, address those in future podcasts here. Well, let's uh, get into our tip of the week. Set the right rental rate from the start. Now, figuring out the best rental rate, take some research conversing with yourself on the value of your property. Hopefully, if you've already purchased a property, you have done a lot of that research. You know what the, the average rents are. So first, you know, hopefully you've checked out the local competition and similar properties in the neighborhood. You know, you check out uh, both the homes currently on the market as well as ones that have been rented recently to gauge the average rental prices. Now, we use services like rentometer.com, great resource. Um, you can go on Zillow, you can go on realtor.com uh, and, and try to assess from there what uh, rents are in the area. Um, but always uh, take into consideration you know, the things like local amenities, the property's interior your features or upgrades when determining the price. Now, you may have a, a property that's in an area where a lot of people have amenities and other features that you may not have. So you might not be able to charge what others charge for rent. So um, do your homework, whatever you do, try to avoid moving the rent price up and down multiple times. This is something that could set off some red flags with prospective renters. Pricing competitively and fairly in the local market will give you the best chance of getting those properties rented. Okay, well, let's jump into our topic, setting your 2020 real estate goals. Now, we've talked recently about uh, putting together your strategic real estate investing plan for 2022, and it's really important in there that the goals that you select, the things that you're going to build that plan around will be obtainable goals. You know, you, you, you definitely, I like to push a little harder, you know, for but maybe a, a little bit beyond what I, what I think think I will obtain um, because sometimes you can surprise yourself and you might even obtain those goals. So you, you, it's not, it's not wrong to reach. Um, and I think that that's uh, you know, that's part of what you have to look at, but the goals that you choose are critical. They keep you focused, decisive, and ultimately successful. Uh, don't get hung up on, you know, things, for example, you know, the difference between a goal, a vision, a mission, objective mission, you know, um, as an old-time marketing guy, I had to be very deliberate and specific when writing marketing plans to differentiate. Um, but I don't think it's 
critical here. I think a goal is really something you plan to achieve. Your goal, um, maybe, for example, to buy a fourplex in the next six months, or maybe you want to increase your monthly income by 2000 in the next 12 months, by $2,000 in the next 12 months. My goal, as you know, was to uh, obtain a thousand units in six years or whatever it is for you. Make sure it's something you really do plan to achieve and you want to stick to. Um, to be financially independent is fine, but you know it's difficult to measure just to put let's say my goal is to be financially independent. Well, you know, to do that, you need to kind of look at what your expenses are and um, what kind of lifestyle you want to live and so forth as a a financially independent person. Uh, For example, you may say, okay, I have 10,000 a month in net income, um, which, you know, it could easily make many people financially independent. So something more specific like that is going to be a little bit better. Also, it's good to have a time limit in, uh, attached to that goal. It's better to say, I want to achieve 10000 a month in net income by the end of 2022, for example. Um, be specific to, uh, you know, to, for example, acquire one two-unit property a year um, or acquire five homes a year. Uh, Make your goals achievable and measurable. Once you set that goal, it's going to be important that you have to reinforce that with your specific strategies as well. It needs to be attainable. Uh, Set it too high and it can trigger feelings of failure. So you, you don't want to go nuts here. You just uh, definitely want to adjust it and don't feel bad if you don't reach those goals. Be honest. Uh, you know, what do you want in life? You know, take the time to think what you really want for yourself and your family uh, now and the years ahead. And, you know, you can look far in the future, but then you can also work your way back and, and look back, um, you know, ultimately where you want to be. But keep your priorities straight. You know, my personal priority is setting goals or, you know, God first, marriage second, you know, family third. Those have to be built into this as well. You know, if I'm going after goals, you know, to um, acquire properties and so forth, and it it takes away from those personal priorities, then that's going to cause conflict. And it's ultimately going to impact your ability to reach those goals. So, so you want to Try to you know build that into your your goals for real estate as well as your personal goals. Financial freedom you know can allow you to spend more time with your family, spouse, children, grandchildren, and to serve others and or to travel or to do things that you enjoy. But again, while you're working on those goals, you don't want to shut off the uh, things that you have to do on a personal basis as well. Um, your goals may change over time. Um, it's okay if that happens. Just don't you know change every time you, you, you hit an obstacle. Um, there's something to be said for perseverance. That's, I think, just wise planning. If you, know, you hit a hard goal, boom, you work a little harder to, to achieve it. And you also have to have somebody that you're accountable to, I believe. Um, you know, it could be your spouse, could be uh, somebody that you're in business with. It uh, also could be your mentor. Um, I think that, that that worked really well for me in the beginning is to let my mentor know what my goals are. Setting the goal is important, but it's what you do after that that's a key. Um, communicate, uh, you know, put the plan together, persevere, stay focused. You, you need to be able to um, follow up on those things that you're you're writing down too, and you revise it. We believe the plan should be a, you know, a, a sort of a living document that you can do. You know, that's why we ask you to write it down and post it somewhere. Some people like to you know, get little stick it notes and, and put them on the refrigerator or uh, put it in the mirror of your bathroom or something. A little note that may say, I will acquire four duplex is in my target this year and will net 500 a month for an annual personal income increase of 2000 per month by year end as opposed to i want to buy some you know some sweet deals out there <laughs> you know so so try to try to get specific and uh, make those 
specific things measurable. Um, once you have a clear and measurable goal, that's when you lay out your plan. And we talked about that, you know, breaking it into smaller bite-sized pieces. Start with your end goal in mind, and then you work backwards. Ask the question, what do I have to do to purchase one duplex? And break it down into time, money, and projected results. For example, in order to acquire properties, I will undertake the following activities. Spend two hours per day online to find 10 perspectives properties. I will spend one hour per day calling brokers or other lead sources. I will analyze each property and submit at least one LOI, a letter of intent, for every 20 properties that I that I analyze. I will purchase one property for every LOIs I submit. I will meet with one person in my lead network at least once per week, and I'll write down what I hope to get out of those meetings. Um, and then there, there may be more. That's just an example of, you know, an action plan that supports the goal that you're, you're trying to achieve. Really important here, I think, is persevering and driving through obstacles. When you launch any entrepreneurial adventure, you have to assume everything takes twice as long as you think. Uh, requires twice as much work and costs more than you had planned. I mean, that those are just you know, sort of the facts of life, but don't be discouraged, plow forward, re-engineer if you must, but don't give up, learn from your mistakes, be thankful for those mistakes. And, you know, that's really, I think the best education out there is when you, you fall down, you learn something from it and you pick up and you move forward. And hopefully you don't repeat that same mistake, you know, move forward. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's really key that you, you know, you keep your focus, the closer you get to your goals, the more new opportunities will present themselves. Beware of those other opportunities, not related to your direct goals, sort of the shiny object scenario where you start going off in this direction. No, stay on track. Don't be distracted. If in your goal, for example, your goal is to purchase four duplexes in a year and you come across a single family home that is a great deal, I would say don't go there. Um, it may take you off track and cost you valuable time and resources. If you've set that goal, stay on it. Um, yeah, there may be some great opportunities out there. And if that's where you want to change your goals, then you can go all the way back and, and start over again. But um, I would say stick to what you've set out to do and then learn from it. And if you find out, gee, you know, going after the, you know, four duplexes was way too hard. Um, I think it would have been easier for me just to go for four single family homes. So you, you do learn from that process. And, and when, like I said, when you set your goals, you know, be realistic, um, uh, so that you won't get disappointed throughout the, the course of that year. Focus equals discipline. Goal setting is not an option. It's a requirement for success. I hope this show will help you get that much closer to achieving your goals so that you can enjoy your retirement dreams or your financial independence, whatever your goal may be. Please note, Old Dog listeners, everything presented here today can be accessed in our detailed show notes in the Old Dogs website at olddogsreinetwork.com forward slash blog. And you're going to look for the episode entitled Setting Your 2022 Goals. Well, that's the show for today. Remember, cash flow is king and real estate investing the means. Until next time, keep moving forward and may God bless. Thank you very much for visiting the Old Dogs REI Network. We would greatly appreciate if you would stop by iTunes and let us know what you think of the show. We would love if you could subscribe to the podcast, give us a five-star rating, and write a review. The more ratings and reviews we receive, the more visible the podcast will be to others. Thank you.